your running back continued to impress me last week, and I wanted to break a little bit of that down for you. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott here. And, of course, if you're going to break down the running back, let's take a look at how fantastic your offensive line was. So, hey, man, tune in. Um, I was trying to find a way to explain this. Um, I'm not, you know, super vocabulary guy, so I didn't really have a great way to explain. But let's just take a look at this play, right? We're going to get two pullers, and we're going to get Zeke with the vision, okay? And then we'll just break it down after we take. Look at these blocks, man. Look at that. Ah, man, ain't nothing, ain't nothing like the beautiful sight of bodies on the ground. Connor Williams got people on the ground. We got Zach Martin with people on the ground. You can't beat that with a stick. And Zeke reading it all. Now, in terms of Zeke's vision, right? Zeke's vision, his patience, him reading things, right? Let's kind of just slow motion this thing. We're going to get pulls from Lael as well. Okay, cool. So from Lael, from uh, Connor, and from Zach. So I'm going to stop it at the at the point where I think Zeke saw it. And I'm kind of basically kind of kind of talk about like what he anticipated, um, what he predicted the situation was going to be. This point right here. Right. If you're Ezekiel Elliott and you see this lineup for you, you see Lael, you see uh, uh, Zach Martin, you see Connor Williams, one, two, three versus one, two, three, then you can kind of hit either one of these holes you want to. Right. You could go outside, but I think I think Zeke wanted to get this thing a little more inside. So what he did to cut it off inside, he gave us a few more big steps outside you see what i mean you see these big hard steps to the outside what that does is that it further keeps these guys flowing right it's it's going to help set these uh set these blocks up a little better if zeke was to cut upfield right now before connor williams engages before uh zach martin engages then these guys can just skate back inside and make a tackle on zeke but if zeke stays outside until his guys engage he's predicting this entire thing he's predicting uh these blocks being being set up and once the contact is set zeke already had his eyes on on the, on the path he wanted to take. All he got to do is plant his foot and get upfield and get going. And Zeke being the super athlete he is, how many, step, how many steps does it take to stop? One, two, then right back upfield. I want everybody to go outside in your backyard, right? I want you to run full speed in one direction. And right before you hit the fence, I want you to stop, break down, and, run in, and, and just run in a whole nother direction, right, at, at, at full speed. Then count how many steps you take before you hit the fence because I'm positive you will hit the fence, right? This is that old Zeke we was talking about, man. That stop on a dime, that agility, that can finish you, can run you over, but has vision and patience, man. It's good to see him running like this again. I can't wait to see what happens for the rest of the season. Let's keep watching though. I think something that's that's gonna happen a lot, Zeke is gonna give you such a threat in the run game that these linebackers are gonna kinda over pursue a little bit, right? Well, we uh we talked about run fits a couple weeks ago and how we should be better at fitting each gap and we'll just kinda, you know, stop the run like that. But if we're gonna run into teams playing hero ball and the Giants linebackers try to play a lot of hero ball, if we're gonna run it run it run into teams doing that, then of course we're gonna get Zeke reacting to it, right? I'm going to show you this place. I'm going uh, to rewind to bring it back and just kind of break it down slower a little bit, right? Um, so take a look at the furthest back of the backside linebackers, right? So if Zeke is going to run right, then this is our backside. And the furthest backside linebacker would be uh, this linebacker here. So if I'm Zeke, I understand that I got a good feeling that this down line is going to get blocked. And this down lineman is going to be dealt with, right? Whether he's being blocked by the tight end, whether he's being red, something's going to happen to him, right? So if we're going to go in slow motion, right? And I'm reading this linebacker. If this, if this backside linebacker is one of my keys and I'm reading, 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 and he wants to over pursuit like that, that's what I mean, right? If Travis Frederick got his block sealed up and... Tyron Smith got his got his block sealed up, and that's how good Connor Williams is. I just want y'all to just give Connor Williams just a damn chance. This linebacker is super over pursuing his gap, and Connor Williams is still athletic enough to get there and get a block on him. Right? Zeke is bound to cut this thing back because we got linebackers over pursuing because he's so dangerous. Right? Not only did Zeke see that and cut the thing back. Ah, not only did he did he did he did he cut it back, but once he got to this point, he replaced where the linebacker was, and that's kind of what you're supposed to do. Why do you replace where the linebacker was? 
because he ain't that no more. <laughs> there, was, there was a linebacker right here, but he's way the hell over here now with Connor Williams being friendly. So um, not only did Zeke forward, forward, backside, but he got back front side because, you know, that's where his blocks are. Here's another example. We see 47, the linebacker here, right? We know Zeke is running to the right. So our backside of this backside linebacker is going to be 47. Um, and based on what it's looking like here, if everybody go through their run fits, we should be fine. If 47 hits a gap and he hits the B gap and this guy goes outside, then the backside will be, will be secure and there probably won't be any cutback. However, um, 47 is playing a little bit of hero ball, but Zeke sees it. That's what I like the most. Zeke could just try to go through one of these little gaps, and Zeke could be a hero. Zeke could be playing hero ball, but he's not. And if you see 47 over pursuing like that, get your ass, get your ass backside, boy. <laughs> going on and meanwhile 41 just 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 stuck he can't he don't he don't want to move forward he don't want to move backwards he's just gonna hang around and wait on zeke to get to him this man this that's how scary zeke is this man 41 was frozen in place while zeke covered 10 yards man frozen in place come on son and uh what, whatever happened to these guys over here they all on the ground what's wrong with 44 44 what are you doing he's all on he's slipping he falling he can't get up up. <laughs> what are you doing? He needs some life alert on his helmet, man. Come on. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to affordablesticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's affordablesticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the got cord. nothing to do with Ezekiel Elliott. I ain't even really, I ain't really got to super explain this or super break it down. I just want to show y'all something. And we're going to move right the hell on. This is Travis Frederick. Okay. He's your center. This one tech that's lined up right in front of him is Leonard Williams. The uh, Giants just sent draft picks to the Jets to go get Leonard Williams. Take a look at what your boy Travis Frederick does to Leonard Williams. This ain't even about Zeke. Just look at Travis Frederick on this block right. Just, just look, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. One more time for the culture. One more time for the P's and Q's. One more time for the lunch ladies and the custodians, man. Please, just one more time. Just <sighs> let's get out of here. <laughs> and I just wanted to show this play because it's fun. Zeke with the super big cutback right here. <laughs> I got keys coming from overseas. <laughs> He's just going to come back. Jason Wynn's going to make that. Is that Jason Wynn? Sure. Jason Wynn's going to make a pretty good effort block right there to get back up and, um, uh, you know, try to try to help Zeke out a little bit more. What, what's going on with your offensive line here? Fantastic blocks up front. Um, Connor, Tr uh, Travis, Tyron Smith, pretty good block. Somebody, man, somebody on my damn Twitter machine talking about Tyron Smith falling off, man. Like, like, like this, don't let these holding penalties fool you because if you go and look at these holding penalties, they ain't holding penalties. NFL Illuminati just out here doing dumb stuff. But, man, you don't want to get rid of uh, get rid of, uh, of uh, Tyron Smith. He's just so secure, man. Um, sealed by Lael. Good second level block by Zach Martin right there. Look, Jason Witten cut 44, kind of sort of quasi miss, just chipped him a little bit, and he gonna get up and make a block <laughs> on 21 kind of man. That is good old man effort. You can't beat that with a stick, bro. Um, but this running back, man, I like the vision that he's running with. I like the patience that he's running with. These cutbacks, a lot of people seem that they're extra, but, um, you know, I like the the shiftiness that, you know, Zeke is running with. So uh, let's let's uh, let's take what we did this week. Let's take what we did versus the uh, versus the Eagles, beat the hell out of them. Um, let's just build and build and build. We got a we got a rough couple games coming up, a handful of defenses that think they stuff don't stink. And I'm um, ready to put hands all over the people. All right. Um, hit the notification bell and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. Uh, let's watch this play. And then we're going to move on and get up out of here, man. Uh, Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woski, and the... I right, they got him in the line scrimmage. And the Peace Kiwiski, man. Peace, y'all. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com.
Some people pay 200 plus dollars a month. I paid 120 a year, or you can go 15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is this multi-screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, Smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing to my Patreon. Just one dollar a month Month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.